Good day everyone! I am Sir Robbie, and together we will learn the word of the future robotics. Did you know that here in Educational Technology Unit, robotics is a priority to make every Filipino learners and teachers competent and meet the demands of the future global scene? Where in teachers, students, and parents who wanted to learn robotics is just a click away for free. Robotics is an interdisciplinary field which integrates computer science and engineering. It involves design, construction, operation, and use of robots to assist human activities. Are you ready for this transformation? Soon in ICTS Educational Technology Unit, come and join us and love the future para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong ito kalidad. Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hello there! Good afternoon to all our parents, teachers, and students. My name is Teacher May and I will be your tutor for English 3. Kamusta na po ang lahat? I hope that you have taken your lunch and you're now in a comfortable spot ready to learn our brand new lesson for today. Siyempre, before we, we start, we will be everyone na nauna na sa ating klase, lalo na yung mga early birds. Siyempre, I would like to greet Yana Rain Yonado from Talipayong Elementary School, Julie Burias Matula, Corazon Pablo Amang. I think she is, or I think Kurt is using this account. Hi, Kurt! Which is one of our, um, which is one of our regular students here for English 3. Um, nandito rin po yung mommy ni Ian Joshua, si mommy Annie Fernandez. And Mommy Annie Fernandez is one of our um, regular supporters. No, lagi nako support si Mommy Annie. You know what? Um, grabe yung pag-support ni Mommy Annie kay Ian, and I would like to commend her for doing such. Kasi sa lahat ng mga um, aralin ni Ian Joshua, kahit sa school and kahit dito sa itulay, no, she really um exert effort na matutukan si Ian. Kaya Mommy Annie. Saludo sa'yo, okay? Hello din po kay Daisy Jewel Magbanwa of Baleti Sur, San Carlos, Pangasinan. Pangasinan of Grade 3 Blue. And then we have also Olive Soy. Or Olive eh, by or from Bulacan. Hello po sa inyo dyan. Hello din po kay Riley. Andito siya. Si Jasmine from Southville 1 Elementary School. We also have, um, we also have are men and amen. Hello sa inyong lahat. Okay? So I cannot wait to start my lesson for today. So I will not um I will not push any um minute to delay it. So let's have my lesson for now. Okay? So here it is. Okay, I think you can see my screen now. Okay. So right now we will have our lesson for week. Five. And our lesson for week five will be about informational text. Okay? So 
before I say to you all the things that we will be learning for today, I would like to acknowledge first the pivot module or the material that, that um, we used for our today's lesson. Thank you, Collaboration 4A, for this module or for your pivot module because it is it has been really helpful for us. So um last time. Um, with our previous lesson, I asked you to uh, make a table, a bar graph, or a picture chart showing the following information from Monday to Friday. So this is what uh, I, I asked you to do for you to show your learning last time. So I asked you to do these um, a graph, a chart for these following information. First, your daily savings. Second, the number of modules that you accomplished. Third, the number of minutes or hours that you spent in using your gadgets. And I was really surprised. You know what? Because you did not just prove that you're really good in English, you're good in language, but you also showed that you're also good in numbers and you're doing well math. That really astounded me. That really surprised me. And these are some of your classmates that showed to uh that willingly cast submitted their work that will be shown to you okay so hindi lang tayo dito um i i don't see you anymore as um from someone who who belongs to faraway places i consider you as my students already and i also hope that 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 the other students that are here will also consider themselves as classmates okay so the first one is the work of Ian Joshua Fernandez so parang weekly no um lagi ko siyang nakikita because he always submits his work na talagang lagi siyang merong sinasubmit sa akin so thank you Joshua for this one he um made a table okay he made a table and the information is the number of modules that he uh does every day from monday to friday next is we also have lord john ray's work so lahat ng lahat ng pinagagawa ko ginawa gumawa siya ng table graph gumawa siya ng bar graph gumawa siya ng pictogram okay i'm so happy to show or i'm i'm so happy to know that you can um that that you can use or you can do your own visual um uh, representation of information thank you lord i'm so amazed by how by the way you or by the effort that you really exert in the in in the work that you have showed me we also have something from there from daisy jewel magbanwa okay so completo rin siya may, may table chart then may pictograph and then meron din siyang table and there's also a video you know uh there's also a video um of daisy together with her father okay let's play that so if you see there's somebody there meron isang bata dyan, no, na parang she is mimicking the way i say my word so hindi naman na hindi si teacher doon the teacher loves that because that means no um yung bata na kapag produce ng sounds in english and saan ba tayo natutugo through repetition syempre hindi pa huli dyan si um i think we have someone okay last one is from Olive Bettinol of City of Malolos Integrated School, Santo Rosario, Malolos, Bulacan. So she was able to do a bar graph. She was also able to do a pictograph. Okay, congratulations sa inyong lahat. I'm so happy to know that you are um, doing well and that you are learning very well in my class. Sabi nga ni Joel, Congratulations to all of you. I'm so happy. Kayo naman, if you would like others to know how fun the activities are in industry, why not to why not share? You no, know? why not share our session with your classmates, with your neighbors, or share it on your FB account para may ibang mga grade three that ang matututo sa atin, mat mat matututo kasama natin lahat. Alright, okay, so. For our lesson for today, this will be the following learning objectives. First, recognize informational text and the structure. Use and sample informational texts. Extract information from informational texts using visual organizers. And 
create visual organizers depending on the structure of sample informational text. Okay, I know you're very excited, but let me have or let me post first our English video for today. Okay, so this is the first writing system created by an ancient. Oh, wala pa. Hindi pa ko tapos. Okay, let's go back. By by an ancient group of people around 3,000 BCE. And when we say BCE, that means before Christ era. So 3,000 years. Before Christ, we have the system of writing already. That's wonderful, right? Information was shared by the Sumerians through this wedge-shaped letters. So you have, so it, so the correct answer, our English trivia for today is composed of two words, okay? The first word is, uh, the, the first word, it starts with C, and the second word starts with S, okay? So I hope you get the time to know the answer for our English trivia for today. But don't worry, we will go back to this before we end our lesson, okay? So last week's lesson, we learned about the three ways information can be presented visually and easily, okay? So let's have a review. So let's have the first one. It, it displays information using rows and tables. Okay. Yes, Gina, it can also be before current era. Very good. Thank you for your input. Teacher may really appreciate that. Okay. So let's have your number one. Okay. So what is, what kind of visual representation is on the screen? Okay, let's see. What do you call this one? Very good, Yana. This one is called a table. All right. Now let's have the second one. It displays information using bars of different length. What kind of visual representation is this? Okay, iba humahabol ng pagsagot. Very good. Like Rainiel, Olive, Chi, um, Armel. And um, I saw another one, Kylie, okay. How about the second one? If we have the table, how about this one? What kind of graph is this? It's a bar graph, very nice. See, to Juvi, naglagay pa na emoticons, but I don't think that's a bar graph, that is a line graph, another kind of graph. But again, they, they both show information visually and easily. Okay, how about the last one? It displays information using pictures of different numbers. Okay, and also we say that uh, this kind of graph has a label. That means a picture would um, say uh, um, would say how many uh, how many a picture stands for. We call it a key. So what kind of graph is this? Let us see. We have Yana. We have Julie answering now on the third kind of visual representation. Also, Chino and um, Daisy. All right. And all your answers are correct. Nice job. Wow. You can still remember our lesson last time about simple graphs and charts. Oh, okay. That's nice to know. Let's proceed. Okay. There you go. So, last question for our previous lesson. What do tables, bar graphs, and pictographs provide to us? What do, they, what do they give to us? Okay, let me give you a clue. It starts with I and ends with N. What do they, again, the question is, what do table, bar graphs, and pictographs provide to us? Yes, very good. They provide... Yana, Chino, Ahmed, these are the few ones that I can see who have the correct answer. Information. Phoebe, Denise, Bayudan, we cannot say information because, because information um because information is already um that means it has a lot of things inside it. So we don't need to put this. Just say information. Okay, again, it's information, tables, bar graphs, and Pictographs provide information. That's nice. Okay. Really good. So I have a question again to you. What comes to mind when you hear or see the word information? Let me 
Let me see how you think. Can you tell me what comes in here when you hear or when you see the word information? Ano kaya yung unang naipisip niyo? What comes to mind when you hear or see the word information? Okay? So, ano kaya na yung isip natin? Ako? Ang naisip ko agad pag sinabi yung word na information, internet. Because we can get a lot of in we, we can get a lot of information from the internet. Yes, correct. News or balita in Filipino. We can also get the information, especially daily current events. Um, in our newspapers, may may it be broadsheet or just the plain newspaper. Okay, the iba news. Ano pa ba? Okay, halos. Parang halos lahat ay news. So, si Chino may mga dinagdag like data and knowledge. Very good. Meron pa dito? Okay. So, I think useful things. Okay. So, information also, um information has useful things for us to think about. Very good. Okay. So, um information is not Information is around us, yes. And through bar graphs, through tables, and through um, pictographs, we can learn information easily and visually. But in our, aside from looking at them, we also read them. And when we read a certain kind of, um, a, if we if 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 we read something and it gives us information, that is what we call informational text. Okay? Can you repeat that? Okay, after me, informational text. Can you type in in our comment section so it will be remembered and it will go to your long-term memory? Informational text. That's our lesson for today. Okay, can you type in the comment section informational text? Thank you, Jasmine, for participating. And um, I expect, uh, yes, Yana, thank you very much. And what is informational text, which is our lesson for today? It's a non-fiction or factual text. Remember, we have two kinds of text. One is fiction and one is non-fiction. When we say fiction, it is from one's pigment of imagination. But when we say non-fiction, it means that it is based on truth, data, knowledge, and information. See, I am using the words that I, that, that you gave to me a while ago. A nonfiction or, or factual text that has the purpose of providing information to readers. Okay, so the purpose of the author is pro, is for us to be provided with information to inform. Okay, information. From this kind of text can be written in several structures. And we will know these structures later on. Okay? The structures can be of five. We have enumeration, classification, cause and effect, problem and solution and time order. I know that um, some of you are familiar with these structures already because we have already studied them during the other quarters. But for today, we will focus on these structures, enumeration, classification, and cause and effect. Okay? So, Teacher, parang medyo heavy na yun ang lesson natin. Yes, it's it's kind of heavy, but don't worry, my students. Teacher will guide you. Teacher, teacher will be on your journey in um learning these texts and um understanding that information can be presented in different structures. All right, today, kung ready na ang lahat at kahit heavy yung lesson, ready matuto. Can you please comment a heart? Emoji on the comment section. Okay, so I'm waiting for the heart emojis. I know this is kind of a heavy lesson for both of us, but if we uh, help each other learn, things will be so much easier. Okay, nakita na si Juvi na nag-heart at, na nag at nag-comment na ng, uh, ng kanyang heart emoji. Sabi ni Chino, ready na red. That's the spirit, Chino. Thank you so much for your enthusiasm. Okay, and for my other students here, thank you so much. Th thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to example dito si Yana. Sabi ni Yana, fiction, the cat can fly. Non-fiction, cat can walk. Okay, very good, Yana. That's a good example. Let's have first the first text. Okay, so, so you see here four words. We will get the topic of the first text that 
first text that we're going to read using the four words that you can see on the screen. All right, so you have there a man walking on the pedestrian lane. There's also a sign. There's a traffic light and there's the word caution. What do you think is the word pertained by the four pictures that you can see on the on the screen? Uh, the word that we are uh, finding out is composed of two words. One starts with R, the first word, and the second word starts with S. Do you think it's a road sign? I think because the second word is S, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The second word is composed of seven, seven letters. And sign is just four letters. I think road sign is not the answer. Road signals, okay, I'm looking for it. I think you are also thinking about that correct answer, okay? So, medyo, malayo, medyo malapit sa road sign, road street. Um, it's a road sign. Oh, it's composed of seven letters. Okay, road signals. But for this one, it's road safety, okay? So, the first text that we will be... Um, reading today is about road safety. Kumatandaan natin, di ba? Um, two weeks ago, we studied about signs and symbols on the road. And all these signs and symbols is for us to be safe on the road or road safety. Okay, so let's have the text now. Road safety is the protection and prevention of road accidents by following all the road safety measures. It is very important to know the traffic lights and signals. Traffic lights and signals for pedestrians should be observed. Red man light means do not cross. If you see, if you see it, you should not walk. Green man light means you are safe to cross the pedestrian and you can walk. In traffic signals, red means stop. When the signal turns red, all vehicles have to stop. Green means go. When the signal turns green, vehicles should move. Yellow means slow down. When the signal turns yellow, vehicles slow down. Okay, so I'm saying, tama po ako. Okay, yeah, it's road safety. And that's what we have just um, learned here in the text. Okay, so let me have questions about it. Okay, number one, what does road safety prevent and protect us from? Please put the number and then the letter of your answer. A, road accidents. B, road signals. C, traffic lights. Again, what does road safety prevent and protect us from? Okay, so some said it's letter A. Some said it's letter B. Okay, let's see for other, uh, uh, let's see for my other students' answer, okay? nag may ibang A, may ibang B. Let's see, road act, road safety protects us from road accidents, all right? And my question for number two, who should observe traffic lights and signals on the streets? Should it be school pupils, pedestrians, or see traffic enforcers? Okay, we're now we're number two again. We should observe traffic lights and signals on the streets because we talked about in the article, we can have road, road safety by observing traffic lights and signals. But who should observe them? It's the letter A, letter B, or letter C. Okay, if you listen well to the article, you will know the correct answer. On dami nag si C, are you really sure? Okay, let me reveal the answer. It's the pedestrians, okay? The pedestrians should observe traffic lights and signals. By the way, teacher, that's, that's kind of a hard word. Can you teach us what pedestrians mean? Yes, I will do, okay? But first, look at the picture, okay? And this picture, this, and this picture talks about pedestrians, okay? So by looking at the picture, who could be the pedestrians? Okay, by looking at the picture, who could be the pedestrians? 
tingnan natin if you can give me your um your uh, idea about who pedestrians are ah pedestrian lane yung dinadaanan nila but how about the pedestrians the, the, the pedestrians are walking through the pedestrian lane, okay? The children, okay, those are children. But specifically, pedestrians are, let's see. Oh, my screen is not moving. Okay, pedestrians are people walking along the road. Okay, yung mga tumatawid, especially on a pedestrian lane. The people who crosses the street who walks along the road okay very good she knows those that those who walk they are called pedestrians that's why when we are on the road we must be very observed um we must be very observing of traffic lights and signals for us to have road safety so we can avoid road accidents i hope that's clear now it's not the traffic enforcers because the traffic enforcers are the one imposing the rules on the streets. The one helping us when we are lost are the one that um, clears the traffic for us. But the pedestrians would be the people who walk on the road. Okay, number three, traffic lights use callers as a way of communicating to pedestrians. You know now the meaning of pedestrians, right? Color red means black. Well, color green means black. Okay, let's see. Color, color red means blank, while color green means blank. Is it A, go stop, B, stop, slow down, C, stop and go? We're now on number three. You think is the answer? Okay, I see. Uh, marami sumasagot ng letter C. Very good because color red means stop and color green means Go oh, very nice. I can see that you have the correct answer. Tingnan natin. Who got three over three? Because I think this is my last question for our first text. And we have three texts, uh, three texts today. That's just the first one. May I know this, the, the number of correct answers that you got from the first text? Did you get three? Did you get two? Or did you get one? Okay, Sabini so Jasmine, she got one mistake. That's okay. Don't worry. Sabi ni Olive, she got three over three. That's nice. Very good. Okay. So if you can see, I have here the important information that we got from the text. And we used here a bulleted list. Why does it uh why does it call a bulleted list teacher? If you can see there are bullets here, okay, in the mga bilog na to, this is what you call bullets. And um, we make bulleted list if we want to enumerate information, okay? So there are a lot of things that we learned about the first text, but in here, as what you can see on the screen, I have just provided the important things that we learned from the text. And what did I use? I enumerate the important information by making a bulleted list, okay? That's one way we can get information by enumerating it bulleted list okay i know oh, I'm going to have three over three very good some got three i some got two like gabriela manila but she is sad don't worry gabriela manila but teacher always says that if you got a mistake there's no there's 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 nothing to be sad with because that means you got a lot of time to improve Diba, hindi agad. Siyempre yung tree, or siyempre kapag nagtanim ka ng seed, hindi agad yun na yung tree, diba? It starts with being a seedling, then magiging siyang plant, then lalaki siya to be a tree. So don't worry kung hindi agad magaling, kung hindi agad mahusay. Because every one of us has his or her time now. Okay, so I hope you understand that. Okay, pero I know babawi ka dito. Meron pa naman tayong chance na bumawi, di ba? Okay, let's have the second. Let's have the second text. But I want you to tell me what kind of map this is. Okay, so kung kanina gumamit tayo ng bulleted list to enumerate inf information that we got from the text, about road safety this will be the visual organizer that we will be using for our second text but can you tell me the kind of map what map is this on the screen okay so everyone i uh, please use the comment section to put 
ans to put your answers and to share good thoughts in class. Don't use don't use the comment section. Um don't use the comment section to comment things that are not related to our lesson. Okay, so I hope you will observe that. Okay, I don't know. It's like Jesus. It's it's like a cross. Okay, so it is actually a concept map. Okay, and a concept map is a diagram that we use to show connections of concepts to one another. Okay, so again, everybody, please type in the comment section concept map okay can everybody please type in concept map on the comment section all right let's see concept map oh very good okay so again um we use it to show connections of concepts to one another but as you can see it will be composed of different kinds of idea the one that we will be putting on the center of the concept map will be the main idea and the sides yung parang sabi yung cross they are parang crucia yung nasa sides the other circles will be having the related ideas to the idea that we put on the center very good thank you for putting on the comment section concept map and again we use a concept map for classifying information how concepts are related to one another okay again so this map this diagram will be used for our second text but before we go to our second text let's know the topic of that text so again there are four there are four pictures and these four pictures pertain to one single word it starts with c okay so what is the topic of the second text you have here um two people smiling you you have here a group of people you, you have your a hand gesturing a hard sign and two children playing in a pond is it care caring cares okay i have another clue if C is the first letter, the second letter is H. Again, if the first letter is C, the second letter is H. It's the pairs. Okay, let's see who can figure out the correct answer. The first letter is C, the second letter is H. H for hat. Is it check? Okay, one more clue. Last clue. This the first the first letter is c the second letter is h the last letter is d very good ryan yana it's child okay very good okay again the second text that we're going to hear for today will be about child or will be about children okay nice one okay let me read it to you or oh, listen carefully to each other listen carefully do you know your rights every child every child has rights as an important part of the society you should be loved and taken care of Dapat mahal at as a child you should know and value your rights when we say rights that's karapatan in filipino and the first right that we talked about is karapatan yung mahalin at alagaan the first right that you should know is the right to be born and be given a name. May karapatan kayo papanganak at mapigyan ng pangalan. That's why you have names such as Riley, Phoebe, Lord, Kylie, because that's your right. It's one of your rights to be born and be given a name. It is also your right to become part of a family that will love and take care of you. That's why children have families because families should be the one um, family should be the groups of people taking care of children. Okay, your family should provide you your needs such as clothing, foods, and shelter. Kailangan pinibigyan tayo ng damit, pagkain, at bahay. You should also be protected from danger. That's why your family is protecting you because it's your right to be protected pala. Now I know, teacher. That's why pala, teacher, pag may kaaway ako sa school, nagagalit si mama. O kaya pag may kaaway ako, um, pinagtatanggol ako ni ate, ni kuya, ni ng, ng pinsan ko, ng tita ko. Kasi it's your right to be protected. 
Diba? Hindi kayo pwedeng, hindi pwedeng sinasaktan. Okay? Pero minsan, iba naman yung, um, pero minsan, um, we also have to discipline you. Kasi merong mga bata na ang sinasabi, when, when they are disciplined, when when they are disciplined they are being hurt hindi no kailangan discipline kayo disiplinahin because discipline is also good for you to be bright and good citizens also it is also your right to be educated okay teacher karapatan ko pa lang mag-aral yes it's your right to be educated kaya naman tayo may intulay kaya tayo may gapet tv because it's it's one of your rights to be educated to have a good education now that you know your rights do you enjoy these rights okay let's answer the question okay do you enjoy these rights yes or no let teacher know okay do you uh, do you enjoy these rights that i have mentioned okay so by the likes of it by the emojis that you are now putting on the comment section i think you are enjoying it like cd and jasmine it's good to know that you are enjoying these rights okay and because you enjoy these rights i know that you are happy children okay let's have questions about the text number one na tayo. the passage mainly talks about the a importance of a child b the rights of a child c the needs of a child sabi ni jasmine i always like it ako din um everyone has rights especially you children you have a special place in society and you are so special in the eyes of god that's why you have these following rights let's have the first answer it's the rights of a child. That's very good. It's the correct answer. The answer for number one is rights of a child. Naikita ko iba humahabol. It's not the importance, but, but, but your rights ang inyong mga karapatan. Okay? So we will put, because rights of a child is the main topic, main idea of it we talked about. In the concept map, we will put it on the center again the gist the main idea will be put on the center of the concept map now we will put the related ideas on the surrounding circles on the four surrounding circles now um what are some of the rights of the child that are mentioned in the passage okay you have one two three four five six so you have six choices i want you to pick out four rights what are the four rights? Kaya nga some, so not all, because uh, fi Filipino children have 12 rights. So we will be getting the four. What are those four rights mentioned in the text? On the comment section, write number two and then the letters of your answer. Again, write number two and then the letters of your answer. What are the four rights mentioned on the text? Let's see if you can get them correctly. Okay. Sabi ni Yan, it's letter A, letter C, letter D, and letter F. Okay, let's see if that is correct. Nice, ang galing. Yes, it is. It's letter A, letter C, letter D, and letter E. And, and because these are related ideas, we will put them on the surrounding circles. These are the rights said by the text. Again, these are just four rights because we have 12, 12 rights for Filipino children. Okay? As, as I know, given by UNICEF. Okay, ang galing, nakuha ng marami ang tamang sagot. Okay, I know you are so ready to have the final text. That's why I want you to, if, if we have bulleted list, if we have a concept map, do you know what, what diagram is this? Or what chart is this? Okay, hi Sirene. Sirene, I think is one of is one of us watching. Okay, so watching with you, my dear students. Okay, what kind of chart is this? If we have a while, if we have 
bulleted list to enumerate information. We also have concept map to classify information. For this kind of chart that you can see on the screen, what kind of chart is this? Okay, what kind of chart is this? Okay, you have the cost and then the effect. Okay, let's see if someone can, if someone can um, know the name of this chart. What, what kind of chart is this? Cause and effect, a very good chino. It is a cause and effect chart. Okay, so this is a diagram used to show the relationship of events by identifying what happened. That's the effect, and why it happened. That's the cause. So this one is to have a cause and effect information. Okay, so again, we will be using this kind of chart to process the information for our test. Okay, cause and effect chart for cause and effect relationships. Okay, now we will go to the topic of our third test. Okay, so you have someone shaking the piggy bank. You can see someone under the table protecting their head. I mean, people under the table protecting their head. You you can see a road and it's um and it's broken. And you can see a piece of land there. What do you think is the topic, the gist of our third text? Ongoling naman, meron agad nakasagot. It's actually earthquake. Ang galing kasi may, may pag-shake. Dapat magda-duck cover and hold kapag yumayanig na ang lupa. Tapos after earthquake, di ba, we, we can see some of its consequences. We can see damaged roads. And syempre, Earthquake is the movement of land, shaking of land. Very good if you said earthquake. Okay, now let's have the text about earthquake. Okay, ready to listen? Here it is. Why do earthquakes happen? Earthquakes usually happen when underground rocks suddenly breaks along a fault. The sudden release of energy causes the seismic waves that make the ground shake. When two blocks of rocks or two plates are rubbing against each other, they stick a little. They do not just slide smoothly. The rocks catch on each other. So, nag-uungkugan sila. Nagaganon sila, okay? After a while, uh, the rocks are still pushing against each other, nag-uumpugan, but not moving. So, let's see na agad nun sila, okay? After a while, the rocks, uh, wait, after a while, the, the rocks break because of all the pressure that was built up inside the ground. When rocks break, an earthquake occurs, happens. During and after an earthquake, the plates or blocks of rocks start moving. And they continue to move until they get uh, stuck again. The spot underground where the rock breaks is called the focus of the earthquake. The place right above the focus on top of the ground is called the epicenter of an earthquake. And I can feel it, it's, it's a bit scientific. Scientific. It happens because of the continental plates. Very good. And that's also one of the causes, okay? They rub against each other. That's why we have an earthquake. That's good, Chino. And aside from that, this is also a detailed explanation of why earthquake happens. I appreciate that Chino is giving to us a lot of information, right? So thank you, Chino, for, for sharing with us something that you know that is related to our lesson. I really appreciate it when you give extra effort to my class, okay? Let's have info. Let's use Okay, let's use the cause and effect chart to um to know the information given to us in the text. Okay, so we have the cause, a sudden effect of energy. If we have that, what's the effect? A makes the rocks catch on each other. B creates seismic waves that make the ground shake. C causes the rocks to start moving. Okay, we have number one. If there's a sudden release of energy underground, what will be the effect? Is it A, B, or C? Let's see. Let's see. For number one, okay, 
if you answered letter B like Chino, you are correct. The sudden release of energy creates seismic waves that make the ground shake. Let's have the other one. If we have the cause a while ago, for the second item, we have the effect. Breaks the rocks. What causes the rocks to break? Is it A, building up of pressure? B, shaking of the ground? C, pushing of the rocks? Remember, it happens underground. Everything happens on a... Uh, Everything happens underground. Okay, the sudden release of energy causes seismic waves. But how about what causes the rocks to break? Is it A, B, or C? Some says some say it's B. Some say it's A. Let's see. It's actually building up of pressure. So sobra yung energy sa pinakailalim. The rocks have to break to release that kind of pressure now for the last item we have here another cause so we will, so we will be looking for the effect if we have the breaking of rocks pag nag break na yung rocks ano yung effect nun? what will happen creation of the epicenter movement of plates occurrence of an earthquake okay if the rocks are broken now what will happen? What will be the effect? A, B, or C for number three. Okay, C, occurrence of an earthquake. If you have the same answer with Joel and with Yana, that is the answer. Occurrence of an earthquake. Very good, okay? So, um, let me see. We have three items here, right? How many correct answers did you get? Right, let me let me catch up on your scores. How many correct answers did you get from our last test? Last test. Okay, let's see. Let me know your scores. Okay, new comments. Okay, naka two, naka three. Congratulations. Good job. May naka perfect teacher. Uh, parang it's hard to understand informational text. If you experience that, don't worry. If, if you got some mistakes along the way, do not worry. Understanding informational text is not a skill that you can do one day, or that you can be good with just in a day. It requires skills and practice, di ba? So, I ibig sabihin yan, kung nahihirapan tayo or kung alam natin na hindi pa tayo magaling, there's a lot of uh, time to be better, okay? Remember that. Now, let's have our, um, let's have an evaluation before we go so I can know that you have really learned well in our lesson for today. Now, this is a non-fiction or factual text that has the purpose of providing information to readers. What type of text is that? Let me see. What type of text is this? It provides information. It's a factual or non-fiction text. What kind of information is that? I, what kind of text is that? Let me see. What kind of text is that? Oh, I am waiting for your correct answer. Yes, it's informational text. Very nice. Now, let's go back to our, uh, no, be, before we go back to our trivia, let us now have our um, presenting of one's knowledge. Let me know that you learned from the lesson today. Because we have informational text, so kaya natin mo. Saan kaya natin makikita ang mga informational text sa mga libro kaya, sa mga magazines kaya, sa internet kaya? Now, show me a picture of you with a resource material where informational text can be found. Picture lang ito of a resource with a resource material. Uh, a picture of you with a resource material where informational text can be found. Now, take a picture. Snap a picture, snap a selfie, then you, you can send it to me via my FB account or you can post um, post on FB using the hashtags English 3 and Shooter me. So let me know if you can know where informational text can be found. So internet, basa magazine, sa libro, let me know by, by sending me your 
pictures for your selfies. Now, going back to Albert Trivia, it is the first writing system created by by an ancient, there's no doubt, by an ancient group of people uh, around 3000 BCE. Information was shared with the Sumerians through these wedge-shaped letters. And the answer is cuneiform script. Okay, so you call this um letters as cuneiform script so i hope you learn you really learned well today and if you feel that your reading skills are not really that good you have so much time to practice you have all the time to be better and improve don't worry reading skills are not the skills that we can skills of any of any kind cannot be built cannot be made better in just one sitting and just one night or a day it requires practice and determination to be good all right so i hope that's also one thing that you will also think about thank you so much learners i really enjoyed our lesson for today i also hope that you enjoyed our lesson for today so if you if if you enjoyed the lesson you can share this lesson to your fb account so other people will also learn with us. Thank you and bye-bye. Stay tuned because you will also have Tutor Rafi for English 4. Thank you. Bye. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Ito Live free online tutorial session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Ito Live tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippine social media accounts. Paalam!